It's the beginning of another weekend on Your View. Welcome to the show. I'm Mariah Afolabi Brown, as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies of Your View. Hello, how are you guys? We are doing amazing. Fine. Virgil. Bonjour. Yeah, I'm how good. Um, after the show yesterday, we're not on the show, but we came for a shoot. I am Miriam. So we decided to follow YK to the shrine. Okay. I've been First hearing time? this very... No, First no, I've been just, to the shrine, okay, but okay. I've not eaten. There's this particular pepper right. stew yeah. that I've heard rice. Nima talk about oh. so much. Mm. So I decided <laughs> to try it and it was... It yeah. was awesome. Mm. In fact, I realized that there were even two different types. Yes. There's a very dark one, dry, and there's another oh, like the yeah. The oh God. no, I had rice, so rice mm. with turkey. And some people were eating like I two, really wanted to come, but I had like two turkeys. We're not calling you know, I was actually thinking of the turkey because <laughs> mm -hmm. I had I really, I really made my salad in the house. So okay. I was actually going to bring my salad along mm -hmm. to get my protein from shine, but I had so much work. So I had to think, yeah. think of your future. Oh, go and just <laughs> so I said, let me do, let me do the work that's going to bring Follow money. Go and, go, and, go and eat turkey somewhere mm -hmm. else. But I'm we glad you guys fun. had fun. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah. How are you doing, Maria? Yeah, so mine's on a lighter note. Um, well, that was a light note as well. <laughs> So I was reading about um, erectile dysfunction, and I hear that smoking is one of the things that could cause it, especially in younger men. So I was wondering, why is it that on the, um, on the cigarettes, you know, they say uh, smokers are liable to die young. That one does not really get them. Imagine if on the packs they wrote, smokers are liable never to be able to do it. I feel that that business will die immediately. <laughs> so maybe the government should look into. Uh, yes. Smokers are liable to erect all this function. Yes. No, 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 no. That's speaking English. Some people will not understand. Say that will happen. Smokers will not be able to do a game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed by the events I have loaded for the entire month of September, mm. October, booked. November, mm. and I'm Speaking hoping to travel and stuff like that. in wow. December. So I'm going to be motivating a group of young lawyers on why they should study law next week, Wednesday. Nice. And I don't even, I have one tomorrow morning in VGC, and I'm trying to find the mail. My WhatsApp has failed. I've changed my phone, and I don't have my messages backed up. You should contact you. Mm. I'm waiting for them to contact me. Mm. If they do not contact me, it will be a good excuse mm -hmm. <laughs> to sleep <laughs> in my house tomorrow morning that I couldn't find the address. Oh. I I the someone somewhere in the UK mm. thinking that I have all their messages. Someone said on um, Instagram yesterday that, ah, so this Alaja can be this um, playful. playful. When I put up that video of you and um, okay. YK. Says because on the show she's always serious. Look at her now. I'm like, how do we? You need to know Nima to be able to. Well, there's an inside house Nima <laughs> that came out yesterday after, mm -hmm. the promotion, after our shoot. The one that so we see most of the time. When you come home, <laughs> what my children see is part of what Miriam released a bit, mm. and that's how I keep my. Husband. Talking about children, my husband. He said, "Miss my daughter." She she told me yesterday. Like, hey, mommy, why are you not smiling mm. on the show every day? I see you smiling with your friends. You come home and you just look like this. Oh. Whoa. I'm, like, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm thinking of big adult stuff. Mm. Well, you need to, you need to start need to playing be. with us. You know, she was yeah. not saying it out. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to be doing? Like Can jumping me, around? Well, you see how the serious jump? stuff ends here. Mm. Once my car just approaches my gate of that estate like this. Yes. Oh boy. You become a child. I become a three-year-old as How? Young Please as teach man. me. I don't know. I will, relate, to, I will relate with this one, relate with that one at night. You know what I do with my children at night to get them to sleep? I do hide and seek. Okay, do you read stories for them? I used to, when they, when they used to go to bed. Go we did, yes. does okay. see? Okay, the you rough could start play. from there. You could start from the there. Rough play, play. The rough play at I do age. with my children. No, let's tell you, like at anymore. nine, we start to hide, mm. myself and my hide husband, and, seek, and okay. my son loves to oh, seek everybody out. Mm. And hide now, lovely. recently, he's discovered a place to hide where we know. It's the only place he hides <laughs> yes. every time. All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> so staying with us, we're going to start with the punch. Further borrowing will hurt economy, experts warn federal government. Family kicks as undergraduate orders, others defile 15-year-old. OPC may transform into political party, says Ghani Adams. Ojikalu others concludes 12-year, um, 7.6 billion naira fraud case. 
Ferragamen school feeding begins in Lagos in September. Belo wins Kogi APC primary. Mm -hmm. Irikera orders protest. We are ready to negotiate the $9.6 billion fine with P and ID, says federal Love. government. Mm -hmm. Lagos, Ibadan Road. Government targets December for Berga Kara completion. And four South African policemen face trial for killing Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Okay, as always, let's start with, let's start with the human interest, then we'll take the immediate headline. Yeah, 15 year old girl. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so um, there's a, a 15 year old girl. Her family is seeking justice. She was um, allegedly defiled by four men, students, undergraduate students of the um, uh, Federal College of Education, Akoka and Yaba. And that uh, these people are, they've been arrested. Chibuzo Ezebwe, also known as Khalifa, he's 24. Moody Philip, also known as Toto, he's 25. Oluwa Ban Wokola Wale, he's 26. And also they're still looking for an Ayo Shegun, also known as Black Man. So these people, Ayo Shegun accosted her. She was walking in the premises of the school and he accosted her and he, she said he asked her out and she said she wasn't interested and that he followed her unknowingly, he followed her while she was on a lonely path. Um, path. He stopped her and his friends also joined him. He forced her to have, you know, sex with him and she said she wasn't going to. Took, him to, the going took to, her to the SUG yeah, so office. They took her to the SUG office where the treasurer of the SUG was there as well. And anyway, the, he had his way with her and... The others rest, as well? No, no. Yeah. Just with the eye of Shagun. Yeah. While the others were they, privy they to the aided. conversation, they yes, they were privy they to the conversation that happened, and then she asked, he asked okay. them to leave we'll while he went. Let's make the major headline. Yes. So, yes. I, yeah. Now, um, the Minister of Finance, um, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, had a meeting with the um, with the Ministry on Monday. Was saying that, um, that we don't have a debt problem. What we have is a revenue challenge, right. and instead of people focusing on the debt. They should focus more on how to generate revenue mm. to be able to take care of infrastructure. But exp experts are now saying that you can't say we don't have a debt problem because we're using over 20 percent of our uh, revenue to service our the budget, debt, yeah. our budget to service the debt. Mm. So what we should be looking into is uh, what are we using the debt for? Are we still borrowing Fantastic. to be able to pay bills or we're doing infrastructure? Because right. if we're borrowing what, for infrastructure, um, we'll be able to generate revenue, revenue to service to Which is what the business, debt. business, business revenue. Rani actually was saying, yeah. what are you borrowing for? Yeah, yeah. really important. Story. Let's take the South African story. Um, they, they're just saying that they were said, but I think they're just trying to manage yeah. the story concerning coming from South Africa. So they're saying they've arrested four mm -hmm. policemen who policeman. killed a specific young man. I can't remember, yeah. I think it's Eric something. Zanibu, yeah. So he, he was killed and then they've arrested four policemen. Mm -hmm. Hopefully yes, so just so showing us that investigation is ongoing yeah. and they're actually taking this seriously. We hope to get the conviction. Federal government um, starts schools, in like feeding schools in Lagos states in September. Yes, in September. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Moving on now to the nation, $9.6 billion judgment. Mm. FEC didn't okay contract, says XAGF. Insecurity police launch aerial battle. Nigerians indulging in crime abroad, bad envoys. Mm. South South governors reject NDDC committees. Government brutally murder Catholic priests. Yep. And Bello polls over 3,000 to win Kogi APC ticket. Let's talk about the $9.6 billion for a second uh, okay, dollar so judgment. The Minister for Information was speaking on a, another channel yesterday and he mentioned that the federal government is willing to negotiate the 9.6 billion naira judgment. And they, one of the ex um, Attorney General was also saying that this contract was not discussed at the FEC meeting mm. and wasn't properly decided. What I'm wondering is when the negotiations were happening, who was acting on behalf of the country. Right. It has to be someone authorized to act on behalf of the country who could sign this and it must have been established at the court. We should have been proactive, appeared at the arbitration, appeared on, you know, when they went for trial to, mm. to get this judgment. So well, I'm happy that they're investigating it because um, the, he, um, the, the minister is insisting that this is something that was done intentionally and hopefully they can... Yeah. I it's hope they can find a way to, so to appeal. But one, one second, they're trying to appeal. One next second, they're trying to neg renegotiate start, with... No, no, they have to I go into court. So they have to, first of all, go to court and get a stay of execution while they negotiate she or, you know, ID. arrange okay. and uh, do something... The government brutally murdered Catholic prisoners. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's in Garden. We'll take that in Garden. But there's another state. Okay. Police yes. recruiting yes. 50,000. So, um, yesterday, uh, they had a meeting. It was more like... Um, the IGP spoke in Enugu while they were kickstarting the police campaign against cultism and other vices. B O C Poka Pokakov. 
that's what's called. So they're saying that um, they are going to be um, recruiting 50 constables for each of the 774 local governments. So that would give us about 40,000 constables. Mm. And this is in line with trying to reinforce a community policing okay. because those ones will work directly mm. with the communities. Mm. Let's just quickly beg them. Yeah. They should please recruit according to uh, recruit mentally capable people as well. All right, just us training them to shoot gun. Knock them, knock them. Moving on now to Daily Sun. <laughs> Heads to roll over $16 billion power projects. Okrocha's men demand his persecution. Nigerians indulging in crime abroad, not representing our values, says our president. Inspector General orders area surveillance of southwest and northeast. Major headline, $16 billion project. Yeah. So the probe is, has been ongoing, I think, mm. from 2016. Mm. And now um, more investigations are still following. The EFCC, they said they've picked, about, uh, picked up two very important personalities in the country. From the People, Niger Delta from the Niger power Delta. holding company. Yes, 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 exactly. And those ones have links in aviation, mm -hmm. in the FLA, yeah. and all of that. Now, this, so, I'll right with my Nigerians, when Basanjo was saying that he had spent $16 billion yes, on a power that. project, and yes. then the investigation started, like, yeah. okay, you sent that much money, where, where did the money go? Exactly. Yeah. So where that's the where the EFC is following up with that investigation to yeah. tell us, and two have been arrested, two and more. Um, because they had about over $8 billion supposed to be shared to the communities, $8.5 billion to be shared to the communities, and with, with that money was diverted. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see. Nobody okay, read the Yes, I have what, you know, what our president said in Japan. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, the spokesman for the president, Mr. Femi Adishina in Abuja, was saying that um, during the meeting our president went for in Japan, he, says to, he, he mentioned that um, Nigerians in diaspora are... You know, we're not represented by the few who are criminals or fraudsters. We have so many millions of Nigerians abroad who are doing so well, and these are the people that represent our values, and that those fraudsters are in the minority. He says also that um, we will not condone any crime, whether home or abroad, and we will not allow these Nigerians mm -hmm. define us. So thank you. Do you notice you. that Femi Adesina was pretty prominent in this, almost, this administration? This, not in the administration, uh -huh. in Japan. What, I don't know why. Mm. It's pretty practically everywhere. I hope I'm not planning to sign something. <laughs> Moving on now to Vanguard. We have to sign trade now. We yeah, can't yeah. sell to ourselves. Governors re strategize to contain menace. That's, according to, that's uh, concerning the insecurity. FG commences partial closure of Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Few Nigerians abroad giving us a bad name. 555 days in captivity. Leah's parents appeal for her release. Um, 150 billion naira rice smuggled into Nigeria this year. And Imo government orders arrest of ex-governor Rochas Okoracha. Okay, which story are we taking? Leah? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so it's, it's been 555 days mm -hmm. that our dear Leah has been in, you know, captivity. 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 And um, there's this um, UN-approved August 22nd as the international day to commemorate with people who have been in captivity. Mm. So the parents, the mother is appealing to our president that please, this girl, her mates are going back to school. September is approaching right. and everybody will be resuming. She doesn't know where her daughter is. Appealing that you've promised to get this girl out. We want to see our daughter. Right. Um, federal government is saying that for Monday, there'll be closure and the diversions for Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Mm. And they hope to complete it by 15th of December before the Yolotai season. So um, they're asking that motorists should please be considerate and follow the diversion so that routes. they don't um, cause more traffic. Mm. And there was one more story that caught my attention, 150 billionaire rice smuggled into Nigeria. So the rice uh, Associate. production association of Nigeria is saying that a lot of rice, 150 billion naira worth, is being smuggled, and they, that is obviously threatening the production of local rice. And they need to, so they're happy about the the uh, border closure. Yeah. That's going to help with, help their own business. Moving on to daily trust, how kidnapping is making families poorer. Mm -hmm. Court acquits Jonathan's ex aide of 1.6 billion naira fraud. EFCC appeals. NIS implements new visa fees for Americans. Uh, Buhari invites Japanese investors. And CBN sold 1.3 billion naira yuan to stabilize forex demand in 12 months. Major headline, Nima. So this uh, major headline, this article breaks down how people who have had to pay ransom over the years. Mm. In fact, the three ABU students that we yeah. thought were released, were paid, ransom was paid for them. Their families had to raise for four million. collectively 5.5 .5 million to, to get them <coughs> released. And um, several accounts of how um, 
top dignitaries that we thought you know were released even security officials the policeman also had to pay ransom but mm. in the in the article they were talking to them post their release talking about how they cannot even raise money anymore to feed out they are indebted how some had to sell livestock mm. to raise money communities had to put money together to get them released we have to curb kidnapping. It's mm. become an industry and it's going to cost an us a long run. And yeah. a, a major embarrassment. Right. Really. We have to run off, but I, I, I can't but not take this story in The Guardian about mm. the, the Catholic priest, Reverend Father David, David Tanko, yeah. how government killed Catholic priests and set his body ablaze. Who has yeah, that story? I do. So he was traveling for, he had gone for a peace yeah. meeting um, in a, a, and he was on his way back along the Tako Mukari Road. Bandits attacked him, brought him out, burnt his car and burnt him as well mm -hmm. you know and this is supposed and this has happened just barely a month after another was in Taraba State, father. Right? yeah this yes. in Taraba state another reverend father paul Ofo in enugu state so the catholic um church the spokesperson was saying it just seems as if clergymen are also being targeted okay. so we need to do something about it that they are not calling anybody and blaming anyone for it right now calling names but this is something that is affecting yeah. everyone and the government <clears throat> needs to do something may about so it. rest in peace may mm -hmm. our hearts go out to his entire family on that note, we have to round up on front page review. When we come back, we'll discuss topics that caught our attention on social media. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So recently, a Nollywood actor, Angela Okori, shared some nuggets on Instagram saying, inheriting people's enemies make you a fool. According to her, inheriting people's enemies is not a sign of loyalty, but foolishness. What, are you, what do you think about this? You can call us on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourVTVC so we can read your tweets. I know you guys have thought about this. What are, let me start with you, Obechulu. I okay. mean... Um, I remember when I was in the university, I had this friend who we usually fight all the time, but she was loyal to the core. Because I remember there was an incident that happened in class. That was after I contested for Face of Delsu. Then I won that. The first one I did, I didn't win. Most Beautiful Girl in Delsu. Then I did Face of Delsu, which I won. So some people were now in my department, political science. They were talking about me. And some girls were like, she's not even fine. She's not even fine. With that tiny, tiny pimple on her face. She's not even <laughs> fine, you know? So my friend was there. And she bought the fight. <laughs> <laughs> This is somebody I wasn't even speaking to at that time because she got me upset, so we weren't talking. She bought the fight, she fought the fight and everything. It was later on I heard, somebody came to tell me, that, ah, that your friend, Naloy Alisto, mm -hmm. the way she bought your matter and everything. Mm -hmm. So when we now reconcile, and I said, ah, we were not talking at the time, you were fighting for me. Mm. And she said, once you're my friend, you're my friend, I'm a loyal person, they can't be talking about you, you know, where I am. And I'm not, I don't jump in to defend so you because you're my friend. We just but, like for no. Uh, for me, I, that's how she sees her life. Mm. But I wouldn't you? quickly jump into, if you insult my friend, I will talk about, I will, you know, have that with you. You can't talk about my friend when I'm there. But I won't buy the matter. Let's take, for instance, you are having a fight and then I decide to take a side. Mm. When I'm not in the business, I don't know what transpired. I don't know who's at fault. Okay. I won't buy that fight. I think right. it's... That, mean, that means you just distinguish because yeah. I was getting confused. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Yes. So a yeah. difference. To, to, to inherit enemies is different from defending... Yes. Yes. So that's what you said, something I would easily do. Yeah. I've done it in the past. But what I would not do mm. is, for instance, you have an issue with Murayo. Mm. I know Didier. Mm -hmm. I walk out home. Mm. Now look at her. I don't even like this Murayo. I said they said that her neck used to shake like this. I bet let me join the people that her neck mm. are standing straight. That's inheriting Anemone. something you never knew. You didn't know what happened. You've not heard this side. You've not heard. You've not really. You were not in the story. How do you determine who is guilty, who is innocent? You just carry enemy. So I have been a victim of this. And there's, I, there were posts. If you go on my social media page, I'm sure maybe till 2017, you see posts. 2018 post addressing this particular person mm. because I just noticed I continue to make the effort I usually do deliberately to be good to that person even though I knew there were issues with her and then I found out later that I we, 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 if we sit down and put it on the table there were no issues <laughs> and then she just kept reporting the way she looks at me is rude the way she walks around me she's rude she, she ah. okay then finally she links it to 
and the issue she had with that person in the past, I said, okay, oh, madam, uh, you just buy market. Because now I don't want to have anything to in this world you. to do with you, maybe in another world. Mm. Because I don't understand how you were not in that picture. You've not heard my own side of the story. Sorry. You buy markets. Mm. You want, yeah, yeah, now. And then I said, this issue that you have inherited, I hope you are ready to carry it. To carry it because the other person <laughs> never took the consequence mm. that you have just bought. Okay. Oh, God. Let me come to you. I'm a ride or die. That's me. That's how I am. My friend, I will ride with you. I die for you. That is how I know it. And that is what friendship is about. And really, no justification. I am loyal to the core. So I'm not loyal when it comes to when it comes to criminal activity, more that don't call me. I will not be loyal in that case. But I am, and I, for me, that is what friendship is about. So that's why when people say they have lots of friends, I'm like, do you know what friendship is required of you that you have so many people that you can be friends with? So the way I see it is, I can have a friend who has a problem with someone else, mm. and if there's an ongoing fight at that point, and I think my friend is wrong. The most you hear me say is, eh, but why are you talking to her like that? You know, then I'll call you outside and say, what you did was wrong. But I will not sit down there in the middle of everybody while you're having a disagreement with your so-called enemies. I don't believe in that, but you know, someone that you're not in good terms with and be trying to judge case between who's right, who's wrong. I'm your friend, oh, no. full stop. I take you to the side later and say, you know the way you did it but or what you did yeah. is wrong. Yeah. Inheriting the inheriting enemy. Uh, enemy. So my friend, I came into this relationship with my friend. We're friends, oh. And then there's somebody that she doesn't talk to. I don't talk to you. Oh. I don't know you. Oh. If That's it's a problem between let me say my own now, let me, madam. Let me, let me come to Nima. So Nima, wait, let me, let me just finish okay. one last okay. scenario. <laughs> but if I have friends, okay, Mariah and Nima are having issues. I am both, I'm, the, I'm friends no, no, to no, both of them. Wait, wait now, let me land. Okay. I'm friends to both of them. Mm -hmm. That is different. I can pick it, I'll pick the side of truth. But my friend, and someone I do not know, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. I know so my friend. So you buy the fight. So, Nima, let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have we inherited enemy before? Never. Mm -hmm. Not even when I was young. So it was, <laughs> and it's always paid me. Let me explain what Miriam is missing. So you come into a new, neighborhood, a new environment, and then you find this one person who is nice to you. And you've not right. known the There's entire friend, neighborhood yet. Who is nice to you. Do you understand? No, no, just forget friend. Okay. Because you start friendship with somebody that's nice to you. Mm -hmm. So maybe this one person, and the other people are wondering, how this one just come, who is she exactly? So this happened when I got married. I moved into a, an entirely different neighborhood I'd never been. And my first next door neighbor was the first friend. And she had details of who I should greet, who I shouldn't greet, <laughs> who has bad eye? Hey, yes. Who doesn't have bad eye? And I just kept writing the details. <laughs> so Lima, the difference between I yours and mine is that a friend, I'm talking of a proper oh, friend, oh, coming to a new place and being nice to me I'm does not make there. you my friend. No, like, my friends can tell you for free now mm. that um, if you come to that kind of argument, I'm not that kind mm. of lawyer for you. Because that conversation, we will have it. Let because me, I'm normally nice it. to anybody. Hello, Johnson. Sorry <laughs> for keeping you. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, this is my time, first time calling. Welcome to the show, Johnson. Yeah, welcome. Uh, my only contribution is based on the children growing up, you know. Mm. A lot of things the parents have done in the past might have had the children. Mm. And uh, when they grow up, they get to know that these people are bad, these people are this, these people are this, these people are so fun. So I believe that uh, from childhood, it usually affects our, our psychology, our, our thinking, mm -hmm. and having some traps to be demons why some are this and that so i think that most of the enemies we are seeing nowadays at times we won't see our friends we don't tell our friends that my friends enemies Can you imagine? we don't know the enemies we already conclude that uh, it's <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnson. Thank you for bringing it. I, I need to dwell, um, build on that because that was actually my own example. Okay. Because I come from a polygamous family, and um, there was a lot of beef between my first, my mom is the first wife, the second wife, and the whole drama. Mm. Now, my mother trained me to. He, she never involved me and exactly. my brothers in the drama. Yeah. Mm. I knew there was drama. Yeah. But she allowed me to ease out with my siblings easily. And in fact, we, for me and my siblings were in Nigeria. We had no issues. When we moved abroad. Then there was, they started, we started, issues started coming up. Anyway, we managed ourselves. But once daddy died, mm. when, when everybody came home, mm. there was that division of, okay, 
that's the those clinical students. That that's and this Everybody started holding their own side. And mm. be, you started inheriting your mother's enemies. Mm. Mm. And it was totally wrong. It happens a lot in polygamous no, families. As yeah. It shouldn't happen. Yeah. As the children no, shouldn't be inheriting their mothers. Anything. You might okay. notice Let where... Let tomorrow, Nima. Yeah. To tomorrow, I'm still, I, I, no, I still have siblings I'm not talking to. No, no, no. So right. the Which is wrong. Have, the examples that I have are mm. different. Yeah. My mom particularly, I remember my mom making me kneel in, a, in front of a woman I knew she had issues with. In fact, I stood up for her insulted that woman I was made to go kneel down and apologize to that woman she said she was training me and not the woman don't inherit the issues you were not there you don't mm, know it exactly it's not your matter yeah. so that was much earlier in my life at 14 yeah. immediately I knew what I needed to do about friendship if it is not clearly just to you stay out of it but I can't the way, the way we were you, raised I take was the wrong side a bit different because uh, my father came from a polygamous family he was the first son and so he had from a different mother, all had different mothers. So he had brothers who were always fighting him. And we grew up in the midst of that fight. And every <laughs> uh, child had to partner with their parents in the fight. In fact, when the fight is done, <coughs> when they come out, they will insult my father. Children, I'm talking about children, but we were different. And they kept wondering why we don't buy the fight. Mm. And I kept telling myself, these are his brothers. I was not there. My own, I'm, I'm very different. I'm not, and my brothers as well. So fast forward now to adulthood. They are still seeing us as enemies. Well, we have moved exactly. on. I don't have issues with them. I can you go see, to their house. Last, I can last, week, no, okay. Robert, last week, my, my sister, my half sister was 50. Mm. And it was painful that I'm hearing about it. Mm. Mm. That's I have a sister that both of us are in the US together. Today, today we're not talking. Why? Hmm. What did I do to you? You nothing. can't tell nothing. Your parents. The brother I see at parties, and I try to say hello to him, he shuns me. Whoa. I, I literally try to say hello. I, I can, I, if I write down, what did I do? Not nothing. nothing. That's mm -hmm. two separate Absolutely let's, nothing. Let's, let's this is just like a word you are no. just ad, ad, no, no, accepted no. from our mothers. Let yeah. Yeah. What basis? Let's, let sense. me quickly say this. You see, see when it's about friends that you meet, and you can meet them and decide this. When it comes to family, one person has to make the step. I know how bitter I was. When it came to family, I dropped my bitterness and I moved on. I will call you. I've done Mura, that. Okay, Mura, okay, Mura, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that over and over again. You can't call everybody. Mariam, come on. Let me explain. So my own family is this way. When my dad died, the story was my father's people took everything. I left my mom with nothing but her two kids. In fact, even when the two kids said, they're saying, share. So I grew up just knowing that these were people that I had no business with. with. I'm not fighting anybody. I'm not angry with anybody. Eventually, many, many years later, we sort of have like a cordial relationship. We can call each other and just check up on each other. We don't even but it's not, it's not, <laughs> we're not enemies. They're not my enemy. I just do not know you. Mm. And so if I see you outside and I am not friendly with you, it's because I don't know you. I don't hate mm. you. I don't, you know, you don't exist in my mm. world. Mm. So maybe for them, there are things that their mothers may have felt them. deeply that you know nothing about, mm. but they sympathize with their mother about it. So mm. it's not your fault, yes. Mm. But you may have to take, a, if it hurts you that badly, you may have to take a bold step and say, I want to have in a conversation fact, with you. you. Trust me. And then if you have done your best, then you have done your best. Because we're having this topic, yeah. because I'm so yeah. me, I didn't understand <laughs> this topic initially, but. When we, when, while the caller mentioned um, about family, Children, yeah. it now triggered that memory that, okay, yes, we do have these issues, but let me go on a break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. I think we have a caller on the line. Morning, are you there? Chief, on the top. Chief, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning. <laughs> Good to ah. have you on the chief. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, mm -hmm. let me thank, let me thank um, Nima very well for going back to still call the person and say, I greet you. Maria, you must go back. You must go back. Don't make peace about Mario, me, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I will monitor you, Moyo. How do you do it? Ah. <laughs> deal with this thing has to do with those our fathers. Mm -hmm. Any man who has tried to go polygamous must do everything possible to, to put them together. Yes. By force and by fire. Mm -hmm. You women, you don't want mm -hmm. other wives. 
We don't. It's not easy. Another wife. It's not easy. We don't want. But the children are not to be blamed for the activities of their fathers in the bedroom. So as long as as long as that is the case, you and your siblings, your step brothers, your half sisters, you are from the same father. You must go out of your way. Somebody must take the lead, and that's why I really, really appreciate Nima. You must go back and do it as many times as possible until they come to their senses to know that it's not your fault that you are born. We must all be together. I come from a polygamous home. I do not intend to be polygamous, but I wish I can. Ah, if I am, chief, my dad is watching. No, my children must work together. They must all. You love each other. Mm. Don't inherit any enemy, whether from the family side, friend, or neighborhood. Mm. You can go out of your way to beat whoever fail or doesn't want to beat you. Mm. And when you see a new child that shows up on the very date uh, or to, to. the day before the barrier, mm. bring the person closer. Where's the apple? Just show love. Thank Where's the apple? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I just, this, yes. this angle just came to me. I remember this. Uh, uh, Recent, not so recently, a friend of mine, she's divorced now with her husband. And I remember being privy to how he abused her in the relationship. But she did not say it out. So like um, wedding anniversaries and things like that, they would still put up pictures on Facebook. I had, long before she decided what she wanted to do with him, I had deleted him off my contact. Ew. I don't wish them any, any wedding, what, what, what. And she was like, why, why are you doing that? I said, I cannot be here knowing how he treats you and then still open my mouth. I want him to know that I am not his friend, that I do not want to have anything to do with him as because of the way so he treats you. Yeah. So that is me. Mm. Uh, yes, it's not my battle, but, but there's, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's something that um, jumped at me when she was talking. Um, you know, it's very difficult to see your friend dine with your enemy. Mm. You become suspicious of your friend. Because the truth is, anything can happen. She can decide to turn tomorrow, and then they come and give you one poison. You don't know where <laughs> it's coming from. No, it's true. You don't know where it's coming from. If you know this is my main enemy, and then I see you dining, I won't trust you. Uh. There's something my mother-in-law always says. She says, you can't hate me and love my child. It's not possible. You cannot claim you hate me, and then you're forming love towards mm. my children. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. So if, I, if, I, if you are my enemy, it will be on my own path to make sure that my kids avoid you Our so that no it's true this is the reality this is reality you see this place this facing you this side facing, facing you this side facing you until it is 100 percent clear to you mm. all the sides all the sides don't take a side if for that's friendship what you just said yeah that's in for friendship now for family, family. ah the quran says beware of the ties of kinship before I understood that thing, my parents, my mother particularly didn't even understand it. I took a stand mm. to today. I'm that middle force for all the divisions within my father's polygamous family mm. where he grew up from. I will call my uncles. I don't understand it. I don't want to hear it. Mm. It's important because it is bloodline. If I am not friends with, mm. for instance, let's assume Miriam is a co-wife. I'm not mm. friends with her. My children are, are first cousins to her, her, her children. Okay, am I going to break the friendship and then still break the bloodline? Okay, that's why you assume that the family is very complicated. Really you have to be exactly. Careful. So, that's you so assume. let's go. Nima, we have to also be careful yes. so that we do not put our children in trouble mm. and be, they will be so naive that mm. they fall into trouble and then make the mistakes that we're making. Mm. This is there are reasons why relationships break down. Mm -hmm. We have to be sure that it's not just about jealousy. Yes. Yes, we understand jealousy within the polygamous home. But we also understand that people have done terrible things that to each other. Code. Then yes. you need to protect your children you from. Have to protect and your children. tell them the things okay, that were so happening so they will not make that mistake. Yes, the family and friends. Let me take this call. Hello, are you there? Hello, good morning. Yinka? Uh -oh. I think we lost that call. Are you there, Inga? Okay. One of the ties you shouldn't break is that of family. So I believe, the way me I see it, all, let me see, because uh, all those are to say. Blood no, hold on. Mm. Let me see that bloodline. <laughs> me, now I say believe uh -huh. that you see, what you fear will take care of itself. Mm. I have maintained against all odds that bloodline relationship, and nothing that I do not see happens to me. Okay. Nothing that I do not see, that I do not know, happens to me. You see this thing called jealousy. 
you can interpret it and misinterpret it over and over. It depends on how you see it. So it's oh, is it, it, yeah, yeah, I get, I get your point. You issue of interpretation. Interpretation. Because we actually misinterpret so a lot of people. Yeah. 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 and envy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Somebody, somebody is afraid of you taking a risk, for instance, resigning a job and going abroad and says, no, if you do it, this thing will cost you. Eventually, you now say that person is a witch. You say the person was jealous. jealous. Or whatever. About what? See, let's be careful about it. Okay. Leave your children okay. to build okay. their own relationships. All right, that's fantastic. I agree with you. But mm -hmm. I grew up in a family where I saw stepmothers burying charms. I okay. grew up in that family. That's okay. that was my reality. That is the mother, not the child. No, hold on. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you have sent your child. If you can bury something for me to catch it, I don't know what you have sent your child. So we still have to be very, very careful. Mm -hmm. I know that what you your your beliefs work for you. So if you believe it's not going to harm you, it's not going to harm you. Mm -hmm. But you need to be careful. You don't mm -hmm. open your doors and say because I believe no thief can walk in, I'm going to sleep with my well, doors I'm open. I, 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 I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. I have a close family member who accuse me of the most defaming or mentionable things on TV. Mm. You know what I do? I take my children. Once in a while, I visit that family member. Will you send your kids without you? Will you send your kids without you? Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, without you. yes. No, yes. Without you. yes. No, yes. yes. No, hold on a minute. No, I say yes. Abby. With all sense, so I say yes. Okay, let me take I will sit at home, I will sleep, I will say take them. Never. I'm telling you, you will not tell them to spend the weekend in the house without you. Never. Ladies, you got there, please. Go ahead. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I love this topic. I want to say kudos to your producers. They're doing a wonderful job. Oh, thank it's you. Very essential topic. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, oh, bye. bye. <laughs> right, so, 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 yes, I can. Yes. Uh, he here says, Wait, you the, question. the no, caller no. Oduto <laughs> makes a good point about the role of the man in a polygamous home. Yeah. There was this man with five wives back in the village. He had a carpenter make a large bowl such that everyone sits around the same bowl to eat pounded yam every evening. Sure. David, David uh, Oluwatobi says polygamous situation is a big and tougher issue. Mothers deliberately poison the mind of their children not to have anything to do with the half-siblings and their mother. And this memory lasts for a long time, if not till death. Mimi says there's, an, uh, there's this adage that where two people have qu a quarrel, the third person in their midst should be the peacemaker. Mm. I can't inherit your enemy as a friend. What I would do as a good friend is to make peace between you two. Amara from Abuja. Okay, that's her full name. Let me, let me, then, um, before I round up on this. Okay. <coughs> Please, can we just do this last week? Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't see Prince Tiami Lawa Kano. I don't see anything wrong in inheriting one's enemies. Personally, I've inherited all the enemies of President <laughs> Buhari <laughs> and Nigeria, so I can keep malice with the whole world. I love beef. <laughs> see, there's, a, there's a fear that people, parents always have, mm. that if you, if you don't let your child, uh, release your child, to be friends with whomever they want. Yeah. They might actually, their, their hel helpers might evade them. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is that the enemy you are saying, Nima is your enemy now. Her child might have the key to your daughter's breakthrough tomorrow. We'll get the key from somewhere else. Because we'll get it from God. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. We'll get the key from another place. Yeah. Let me so get it. What is the fear? That to learn. Don't never allow your children to, to learn have your own enemies because of, you never know. Oh, no, I wanted to learn on that danger of breaking that a relationship mm. before something Maybe happens. Okay. 12, 2019, that situation no longer exists because I didn't allow it to stop me. When I cannot go, I will allow them to go there. Hmm. I will take them when I'm available. You get mine. Because relationship is more important. That relationship is key to me. We have to run that is, that, that is it. Can you say, can you Chudi, let me take this call. I have to run <laughs> Chudi, are you there? I have to bring our celebrity guest. Okay. Chudi, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, uh, good morning, Moray, and morning. Uh, morning. Uh, all the rest. Yeah. I, I particularly enjoy this uh, okay. topic today. Okay. I am not from a polygamous family, but what will the worst thing that would have happened to me in life is if I have come out of a polygamous family. family. That, would have, that would have been my most regrettable moment. Inheriting enemies, is it just like Miriam uh, 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 said, your enemy is your enemy. And you cannot come out to pretend that you love me, mm. but you are my enemy, and I'll open my door for you. Mm -hmm. I will close one eye, open one eye, and be looking at you. <laughs> and and <laughs> the moment you, uh, in fact, 
all your movements Sorry. will be monitored because I am not secured with you. Enemy is an enemy. Mm. Your enemy will even come out in your front and say, hey, Morayo, you are beautiful, you are that, that, that. Mm. In the next moment, as you're turning back, he's giving you five fingers. Yes, sir. So. Uh, you know, right, thank you very much. My brother, God bless you. I was going to break. <laughs> when we come back, we'll bring in our celebrities and ask her her thoughts on this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. For a few years now, the name Uru Eke has been buzzing on the Nigerian entertainment scene in a positive way. The fast-rising actress yep. has featured in several productions, proving her talent in each one and improving her profile and fan base. Welcome with us, Uru Ek. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet towards our TVC Connect. Please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweets. So before we go into your interview, what are your mm -hmm. thoughts on this issue of inheriting enemies? Okay. So <laughs> personally, I come from a, I come from a very large family, okay. and we're somewhat dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and um, my mom. I think my mum and my sister, my mum and her sisters, yeah. have always had like a, a very Super. tempestuous relationship, mm. and we, as the children, we've tried as much as possible to not get involved mm -hmm. with her and her sisters and their bickering. Mm. And sometimes she comes to us and see what your auntie said, see what your auntie did, and I'm like, she's your sister, you know. It's yeah. best that you go and because. Are you, no, are you friends with your cousins though? <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is, based on um, the. Tempetuous relationship my mom and her sisters had, I think it kind of like yeah. transcended to us, the younger yeah. ones. And we, the, my cousins, we all had um, some type of dysfunctionality going on yes. among us. But I think with the way that my mom is, and I think we took this, me and my sisters took this for my mom, regardless of oh, the bickering and all the arguing and all the um, issues that they all had, my mom tries as much as possible to keep relationships with every single one of them. Okay. So I wouldn't say that I... I, d I don't inherit her enemies, that's for one, um, regardless if they're, if they're blood or not. And then the same thing with my cousins, regardless of how problematic our relationship is, I try as much as possible to be cordial and um, accepting of them regardless. And I think also, I think it also depends on circumstances, like I listen to you and the issues that you had growing up, and I can totally understand why you decided to segregate yourself from such people. I probably would as well, mm -hmm. because you don't know what dangers you might face if you're that close to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand your view <laughs> as well. <laughs> you know, um, you're probably maybe more liberal, and you would dine with the enemy. Some people mm -hmm. just won't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Liberal yeah. as yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you expressed that with friendship, though? That's my yes, family. Yes. I think for me, um, I would like to, I'm a more of a mediator. Okay. Then I would. You actually look like a mediator. Yes, I'm more of a mediator oh, than, <laughs> than, than I'd you know uh, yeah. fight your enemy yeah. with you. I'd like to understand exactly what they did yeah, so and why you have chosen that stand. And I don't think that it's enough for me to want to become enemies with them if they haven't offended me personally. Have you experienced it up close where a bad uh, friendship with mm -hmm. someone else turned out to be your own blessing, where you benefit from? Because you didn't take that stand with that yeah. friend, and later you gave that other person the chance, and you found out they were an amazing. Maybe person. not friend, maybe boyfriend. <laughs> you oh. know, when your friend breaks mm -hmm. up with a guy, and she expects you not to no, no longer be friends with the guy, mm -hmm. and there's a business opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> say no. Yeah. Say no. <laughs> Let's, talk about, <laughs> Let's talk about you now. You were yes. sending you on CNN. In mm -hmm. South Africa. Oh, I was there recently. That was a while ago. Oh, I thought it was yeah. recent. No, it wasn't. That was okay. probably maybe sometime in 2013, I think. Oh, that's oh, a long, long time ago. It is a long oh, time ago, yes. Oh. But don't, don't brush it off. Yeah, yes, it, it is. Yeah, man, hey. It was pivotal but to since, me. But since I, then, how has that affected your... Um, um, since your then, act? I was still just acting and working my way through the Nollywood you know, atmosphere, and um, I hadn't stopped producing them. But one of the things that I said in the interview was that at some point, I'd like to become a producer. Okay. And fast forward to present day, I am that. Wow. Oh, so yeah. congratulations. Thank nice. you. Thank you. And so then, your dream, your dream, yes. well, your dream always to be a Nollywood actress. 
or not just is this a actress, way an actress. Is it, okay so okay your dream is to be an actress so yes. you went to school to study acting no no good I so is this just a way to get to where you okay Start let off. me let me rephrase most times we go to school and study some professional course yeah. and then um, maybe things don't work out mm -hmm. and we say let's find a way to get to where we're going yeah. is acting something you really want to do yeah. or is this just a way to some bigger dream that you have no i've, I've always wanted to be an actress um i had studied business information technology after that um I was in, in an association called the Association of Multinational Performing Artists in the UK. Mm -hmm. And then when I started to do acting, then I went to film school. Um, actually, I went to film school to study producing. Mm -hmm. But I'd already started um, acting and I produced my first feature before I went to film school. But I just went there and I thought maybe it's some first feature before I went to film school. But I just went there and I thought maybe it's something that, since everyone's going to film school, it's probably mm. something I need to do as well. <laughs> maybe there's something they're teaching that I need to learn. Mm. Um, but it's not, it's not really um, a means to something else. It's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. yeah, and I'm doing it. And I think producing has just brought itself along the way. Okay. So I see myself. So, um, the world of IT is yes. big right now. Massive. Um, massive, really yeah. massive. Yeah. And if you were still there, <laughs> yeah. you would be making some mega dough. Right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And I know that acting doesn't pay as we <laughs> paint it to. So yeah. do you have a That's sort right. of regret somehow? Oh, absolutely not. Um, it was a decision that I made and I was ready to jump ship. Okay. You know, because at the time that I actually um, changed careers, um, I think that I was mentally ready to do it. Mm -hmm. And I knew the sacrifices I'd be making when mm -hmm. I switched careers. Because obviously as an IT consultant, you know, you're, 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 you're big. Exactly. Yeah. I, was, I was clearing out every month. <laughs> and um, even my mother thought, she said, oh, don't you think you're crazy? And you're actually going to Nigeria to do this. And I said to her, so well, I mean, I see all the, I see the black um, actors in the UK and I see how how long it takes them to get to where they want to be and all of them crossed over into the US and mm. you know that's probably where they get their big break <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and I thought but I'm Nigerian I think I can get my break quicker if I come to Nigeria right. mm. you know and that's why I did that but she didn't support it at first mm. you know she she she, <coughs> she fought me a lot and I just said just pray. just pray for me on this journey <laughs> you know because even I'm not sure yeah. so I know I'm doing <sighs> She's like my PR. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, more than that. Yeah. yeah. Right, but let's let's be serious. Yeah. You know when we when we <laughs> we are not serious. Yeah, no, no, I'm getting serious. Yeah. When we have um, you know actors or actresses on the mm. sets, some open up on how difficult it is financially to cope in this industry. Mm. Some agree that you know they have to have a side or so. Absolutely. You are an IT expert. Do yeah. you still practice? your you know your first discipline or are you just an actress and how exactly rewarding yeah is it financially yeah to be in this okay business? so yes i do um go back so when i go back to london because i worked as a contractor for about five years so when i go back if i'm there for say more say three to six months or more i go back to contracting I don't really talk about it because I try, I don't want people that I work with to recognize me or to question me or, you know, and you don't want them to think that you're going to leave the contract at any point right, to come back so, to acting. Yeah. So I try as much as possible not to say anything while I'm on a contract got job. Um, so yes, I do practice that on the side. And then in terms of how rewarding it is, I think that financially, I wouldn't say you're cashing out. As an actor? As an actor, I would say probably maybe you're just, you're getting by, right. you know, um, because uh, I think you have to get to a point where you you can command the big bucks. Mm. Some of your, your wait, wait, I'm afraid to take the next person. Yeah. I'm going to call Holden for a while. Yeah. Hello, morning, are you there? Good morning. Good morning, thanks for calling from Abuja. Yeah, my name is Bjorn. Hi Bjorn, go ahead please. Uh, yes, I want to talk on the topic. Go ahead. It's your view. Let it count. Okay. First, I want to talk about the friendship. It is not nice. It is not even godly to inherit anybody's enemy. Mm -hmm. Because your friend might not even be telling you the true story. Mm -hmm. That's Who okay. knows if it's your friend that's a, it's a boss? So it's best you don't, you don't, or even when your friend tells you someone is bad, you can just you might take it in and make sure you're close to that person to find out what is going on. The person might be nice, but sometimes you are not very honest with ourselves. We'll just say the things that fit us 
to that person. Right. That is for that. And <laughs> for this polygamous, one of the reasons why God will be against most people going to polygamy is the, is not just that is the capacity. And the capacity is the wisdom. I'm from a polygamous family. And I must tell you, in my own family, my father has three good wives. We are best of friends. And it is my father, God, and wisdom God has given to my dad. Mm. We are best, and the person of the family, if I am coming, you, I, even my stepmother will be saying, okay, that guy is coming, that guy is coming. And my siblings would so. We are, so I think your dad, with all due respect, your dad, they, they will need to I'm not on work. trial. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yana. I'm not on trial here. Yeah. It was just an example. Just, I'm not on trial here. Yes, Nima, you're going to ask a okay, question. So I was going to say, some of your colleagues have had to, you know, find a way, mm -hmm. less than you know, had to do, make certain compromises to remain um, influential, to remain mm -hmm. in the industry, to at least yeah. to be in, on top of their game, mm -hmm. to be the one they call to, uh, for all, all compromises, all, all, whatever some compromises online. We really <laughs> have you ever been caught in a situation where you think this is compromising? Do I have to take it? Do I have to leave it? Or what would you do? Well, for me, to... I've always said to myself, if I find myself in such situations, I'll just go back to London and go back to work, <laughs> go back to being an IT consultant. Mm. You know, it's not that option. bad. Exactly, it's not. I, I've got an option to do that. You know, I don't think I'd leave that and then start to mess about here. For, so how yeah. much really? That's so fine. what would you say success means? What does it mean to you? Because right yeah. now, all over the news, we have different, we, there are many stories of Nigerians being successful yeah. in many ways. Mm -hmm. For a young yeah. girl coming up, beautiful, smart, what is success to you? You know, unfortunately, in this part of the world, we equi equate success to material acquisitions. Mm -hmm. uh, like and um, <laughs> that's not really what I attribute success to. I think success is being happy in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Success is having a job that you are um, excited about, that you wake up and then you want to go to every day. Success is, um, to me, if you have a family that supports you. Success is if you have a business that is rewarding. You know, not necessarily about the new car that you buy or yeah. going to Dubai or flying first yeah. class or things like that. And I, I just wish the narrative could change for us here in Africa because mm -hmm. I don't We're know if it's a tell third us, world mentality. Tell growing up because yeah. I mean, you grew up with a single mother. Um, yes. And uh, there's always a lot of perception, like, okay, she didn't have a father figure. Yeah. Um, they, they assume their issues. Were, were there any issues yeah. growing up as a, as a, with a single mother? No, there was no, and the reason why I say that is because <laughs> I come from a long line of very strong women. You know, my mother, even though she, she, she raised us by herself, but it felt like we had a man around because she was very strict, mm. you know, and also because even as, as dysfunctional as the family was and she, how catty she was with her sisters, <coughs> everyone pitched in, mm. you know, so she wasn't necessarily on her own, mm. you know, so, and I think we turned out, me and my sisters turned out just fine, you know, but I'm not going to lie, I think at some point, Sometimes I did wish we had a man yeah. mm -hmm. in the house because I think that maybe my mom needed it as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, are you there? Yeah, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, boss. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, calling from Ecology. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I I just want to appreciate you, ladies. You're doing a great job. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And <coughs> Go ahead, Bosse. Ooh, lost that call. So, I wanted you to tweets. go and yeah. say <laughs> that your first uh, movie as a producer, Remember yeah. Me, yeah. how was it like for you? Because I know that um, sometimes we have the struggle. You know, being an actor, you're called on set. Yeah. You're paid to do the yeah. job. But being a producer, you cough out the money. You <laughs> sought for the funds. And I made an attempt to produce a movie, which I'm still fighting till today. <laughs> so how was it for you? How, the, the support you got, how was it? Yeah, um, fortunately for that film, I got funding from the Ford Foundation. Um, obviously, I had a lot of proving to do because it was my first time and they were really skeptical like she's never done any producing before how can we trust her and so i really needed to show them that i could do this mm -hmm. it was very challenging but um i made sure that i the people that i hired on the job 
um, were people who had been doing it for a very long time, and my director was amazing, was Izo Juku. So obviously, by the time I presented him as the director, I think they were comfortable. Mm. So I think it's a team that you set up, <coughs> you know, because they can make or break you, and that's, that's the only issue, because they could come with all sorts of things. Mm. But if you have a director who means well for you, and mm. he actually wants to see the project successful, you know, he will actually sacrifice his own time and effort <coughs> to see you through the entire process. Yeah, question. Um, your background growing up in London and having a, your accent, because this is a conversation that happens in Nigeria, yeah. people feel that people who have gr grown up abroad mm -hmm. and have the foreign accent yeah. sort of have an advantage over <laughs> other people. In your industry, do you find that to be true? No, or not at all. <coughs> Nobody gave me an opportunity because, if anything, they've told you to dump it down. Mm -hmm. You know, so absolutely not. I think I've had to work twice as hard to prove myself because obviously not all the roles require someone who has an accent. Mm -hmm. A lot of the roles require you to be an indigen and speak like the indigens. Mm -hmm. So if anything, it's to sound like everybody else. So what Nigerian accent do you have? Is <laughs> there anyone that you can, can you do say? Pigeon? Can you? Do you oh, have I a don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh God! Some of the questions on Twitter. Mm. Okay. Andre is saying, um, "Ask Uru Ak what does her name mean? Oh, is she the daughter it. of Cloud Ak?" No. Uh, to get that out of the Not really. Okay. Then Daniel so says, Uru, Uru at the beginning of her appearance on the show was trying to suppress her British accent. <laughs> you are from Imo. Imo State, Imo yes. State. How much of your the so, language, Ibo language can you yeah. speak? Yeah, I mean, I can communicate in my dialect, in my dialect, you know, so, but we have a central Ibo, which mm -hmm. is, I think it's the Anambra. Anambra. That one I, yeah. I can't do, you can't because do I was surrounded by... So you can say hello. I can, Kedo? Uh, well, that's, that's, yeah. that's yeah, common. That? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. British as well. <laughs> 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 so, the, the, now, I know you're working on some projects, right? Can you tell yeah. us a bit about what you're what, what you Yes, doing? my current film, which is called For All Time's Sake, um, it's out in cinemas on the 20th of September. It's a film that has dancing in it. Um, mm. So I... Are you, you featured? Know, I'm featured, so yes. I play ID dance, yeah. yes. Not. And act, you know, you know. yes, and produce it as well. Yeah. Um, well, I've been doing Fella and the Calakuti Queens for the last one year and a half. Okay. And uh, I think it kind of opened up my muscles. Mm. <laughs> you dance yeah. the Queens? Yes, I'm one of the oh. Queens. I play Alake. So you do okay. stage? Yes. Hmm. How difficult? It's two different saying. worlds, to be honest with you, because th this was my first um, stage production in Nigeria, and the first time I was a bag of, you know, like, nerves, mm. you know, but, and I fought for the role because she was going to take it from me and give it to someone else. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not after we... working with VAP? She's amazing. Mm. She's amazing, like, you know, the way she commands everything and puts mm. it all together, just the process of watching her, you know, I, I feel inspired, you know, so after doing that, it just opened my muscles and I was like, yes, it's, I think it's time to do this film. So you have a twin? Yes, I do. Are you identical? No, we're not. Oh, uh, let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll talk more about your twin. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. There's some characters you get, you feel like, ah, can I do this? This is too on me. How do, you, how do you interpret those roles when you get the kind of character that you're not really familiar with? Um, I think you kind of take it in your stride. You know when you've been doing it for quite a while? Right. So somehow, if you need to maybe watch a couple of films to get the inspiration to break out. the challenging characters, roles you've played? I think actually producing the, um, Remember Me, okay. because, because I was producing and was well acting a character that had, um, she had um, hallucinations. And because it was such a challenging project to produce and act, because uh, I lost my voice, mm. you know, on that project. And for like two years after, I, I, my wow. voice didn't come back. For real? Yeah. Let me take this call. Moin, are you there? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling, Diana. Yes, I just wanted to call and say that I really do like Uru. She's one of my favorite actresses, and I'm not Aww. saying this for saying sake. 
Oh, I, I watched her on um, Roma Hazis and I oh. thought she was amazing. So, oh. good job. Uro. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's good to see you on TV. Yeah. Thank you. We need to see more of you, actually. Yes. So oh, thank you. Thank so you. Yeah. What, what's Uru, your name means? Yes, it means prophet. It's actually mm. Uru Kanamwa. Ooh. So which, means, which means this. Uh, there's more profit in children. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, cool. That's nice. nice. I know that uh, movies are meant to tell stories. Yeah. You know, you want to like correct societal ills for some movies you want to entertain, but then you have a story. Yeah. And watching that what uh, we just saw now yeah. i could pick that you were probably not listening to your fiance or yeah, husband so yeah. what story were you trying to tell with that, that movie one? yeah i think that one was um i think the no communication in the relationship yeah. so i wasn't paying attention to him and the things that he liked the things that he enjoyed doing mm. You know, so I think he felt neglected in the relationship. Mm. So I think for that film, it was more of to pay more attention to your spouse and what they that enjoy. Was the message. Yeah, okay. that was the message essentially. So that movie, me I saw, <coughs> just gave me an idea that you know what would Uru be like in a real relationship? Yeah. Are you in a relationship? I'm not in a relationship so now nice. because I'm working. You're so searching. I'm searching. Yeah. What's the longest relationship? I think a year and a half. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so what kind um, of man are we looking for? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> You're on TV now, millions of men uh -huh. were watching. Go on abroad, yeah. trust me. I, <laughs> think, <laughs> I think just someone, someone that is, I like sensitive men. Okay, you know, romantic then. Yeah, I like romantic men. I don't like men who... Yeah, British. Romantic. I don't like men who are hot-tempered. Mm. Yeah. That's Nigerian for you. Ah. Yeah, I don't like men. Nigerian man. He's hot-tempered. No. So. You don't like Do you have that? a preference no. for... Uh, Nigerian man or oh, white man? man. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what's your preference? Um, I think probably I'm tilting. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm tilting t to non-Nigerian. Mm. Why? Mm. I don't. Nigerian know. guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hey, oh, just white or black? I'm, I'm hard black. Non Nigerian, <laughs> non Nigerian white or black. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, the color. Nigerian. Wow. But Nigerian do you have the TDH man. thing, or it just doesn't really matter? What's the TDH thing? Oh, that that has oh no, 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 you not really. To, no, okay. that's a facade. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask one question. Do you think? Let me go back to your career. Do you think that you're coming to Nollywood since you want to sort of? end up in Hollywood. Do you think it <laughs> makes it do, do you think it would make it it makes it harder? If you had come easier. from the UK and um, from the UK scene straight, it might be easier to get on Hollywood. And no, come you know into why Nollywood. it's not harder? Mm. Because Hollywood's looking in to, now. to Nollywood no. now. Okay. So I mean you've had the likes of um, um, Half of the Yellow Sun that was mm -hmm. shot here. You had the no, likes of like. Idris Elba mm -hmm. that shot. Um, yeah, but those were UK artists. Yes, UK but you see, actors. they're using Africans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Idris Elba came and cast our own Nigerian as um, mm, the. I uh, think he played the sub lead in the film, mm -hmm. even though it was shot in Ghana, because originally I think it was supposed to be shot yeah. um, here in Nigeria. So, I mean, they're coming. You know, so I don't think. I think it's only a matter of time. Yeah, 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 it's only a matter yeah, of time yeah, before. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about. Um, what, what would you. Oh, let me pause you for a second. Okay. Ricky has been holding for a while. Ricky, okay. are you still there? Our last call for this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still there, Ricky? Yes, I am. Thanks I'm for calling. Good. Go ahead, please. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Rakia. Yes. And uh, I've called 150 times. First time caller to, to oh, get to the show. Uh, Royal, I am a friend of your senior sister, Sissi oh, And I know, I know that you, I know very well. Please make that effort. Call GBK. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Rekia, for that call. Oh, my God. Yeah, so um, I know that um, we're beginning to churn out good content, but yeah. it's not as much as we would love to when you compare the movies from mm. where you're coming from. And uh, what, what do you think script writers and producers mm. would look into to mm. make sure that we have quality yeah. because sometimes I go to we go to the cinema to mm. patronize Nigerian movies yeah. and we're disappointed yeah you know I think from my point of view I what I see is a lot of the people that the jobs the producing the directing the script writing they're all self-taught 
Mm. You know, mm -hmm. these are things that people kind of acquire the skill on their own. Mm. They don't really get the structural rudiments of what it really entails to do these jobs. Mm. So it's by their own knowledge. Mm. So the standard's quite limited, you know, and they're not held, yeah, error. so they're not really held to a higher standard. You know, so I think that's where we're lacking, you know, whereas you have, um, and then also I think we don't get the funding that we need. Mm. But having said that, if we get the funding, are we going to do right by the funding that we get? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the question that we need to answer. But we need to also have an enabling environment where the script writers can write better, the producing is better, the directing is better. Mm -hmm. And how do we do that if we don't have like um, proper maybe school. proper schools and mm -hmm. academies that do that? As we round up, I'd like you to just talk to young people who mm -hmm. also, because acting is big business. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you're not making as much money, but mm -hmm. after the fame, the, the it opens doors mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say to a young person who's struggling to make a headway in this industry? Yeah, it's like any other industry. There's always a challenge at the beginning. And the truth of the matter is if you are not resilient, if you're, if you're not dogged, you're going to just fall by the wayside and look for something else to do. Because it can be very discouraging. Mm -hmm. Every single person that you see successful today had a time in their lives where they thought they were not going to make it or they were not going to get to where they wanted to be. And they felt discouraged and wanted to turn away. Mm -hmm. But if they turned away, they never would have got there in the end. I've had my fair share of challenges, you know, and I could have just packed it in and said, you know, what am I doing here and go back completely back to the UK and do my job and go back to IT. But I stuck it out regardless because I thought to myself I've started it's either I start and fail or not start at all That's so I think awesome. the key thing is to just push yourself go out there and get it because no one's going to give it to you mm. Mm. Thank, you so thank, much. You. Thank, thank you so much thank you so much that's all we can take on the show today join us again next week for more exciting episodes have a fabulous weekend see you then bye bye <laughs>